Brain cancer is a subject that has touched the ABC 13 family deeply. Yes, earlier this year, we lost our former news director, Rehan Aslam. He was just three months into his new job at our sister station in New York when he was diagnosed with glioblastoma. This type of brain cancer is complex, it's deadly, and it's resistant to treatment. But as science advances and doctors continue to research, there is hope. In fact, the team of doctors at Houston Methodist are experimenting with a helmet and magnets to attack and kill the cancer. So is it working? ABC 13 anchor Mayra Moreno went to find out new at 10. We do a scan at five In the heart of the medical center inside Houston Methodist. So I've been researching glioblastomas for years, trying lots of different things. Dr. Baskin and his team formulated a theory after noticing how cancer cells behaved compared to normal cells. Could it be possible that magnetic energy could kill cancerous cells? But when this idea came, I needed expertise that wasn't what I had. At the time, Dr. Santosh Helikar was involved in magnetic therapy research to stimulate the brain. So when Dr. Baskin presented the idea to him, he quickly shifted his research and joined his team. We started collaborating initially, doing experiments uh, in cells and culture. The shocking part was that it works so well because so many research projects seem like good ideas, but then they don't work. Yeah. But this one actually works. So you don't have to shave your hair. They began moving forward from the research bench to this, oncomagnetic, a made-up word for a device that seems to be showing promise. The device is very comfortable, actually, and the best part, it is portable. Patients can take it home, turn it on, and undergo treatment in the comfort of their very own home. Thanks to an FDA program called Expanded Access, the doctors have been able to try this non-invasive magnetic stimulation device. But at the moment, they can only experiment on patients that are at the end stage of cancer and have no other options. You can see this nasty tumor occupying maybe one third to, uh, to more of her brain. So this is an image that shows that it's even worse. This kind of shows you how the fingers go even further. Dr. Baskin showed me these images of a 79 year old woman who underwent treatment with the helmet. She put the magnets on six hours a day. Here we are about two weeks later and I don't think you need to be a rocket scientist or a brain surgeon to see the dramatic difference. Yeah, All this is shrunken down. The brain is almost completely back to the midline. Even the fingers are, are going away. Look at the difference between here and here, and that's only two weeks. Unfortunately, that patient died from other complications, but Dr. Baskin and his team say they have never seen anything work this well. But I would say with all sincerity, this is an incredible glimmer of hope for patients with glioblastoma. But of course, we need more patients and more time to be sure. Seeing patients every day. Their all. latest patient is just 28 years um, old. I spoke to her via you. Zoom. She just started using the magnetic helmet. So it's a little time consuming for sure. Uh, I have to do it every day, even on the weekends for six hours. Stephanie Gonzalez was diagnosed with a rare brain cancer called diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, or DIPG. It's normally found in children and fatal. Dr. Baskin says she's a wonderful patient with a hopeful spirit. He says she's a trailblazer because at the moment, she is the first person in the world with her type of tumor to be undergoing this magnetic treatment. It does get to the heart, and I get a little bit emotional and personal with it. But um, I always t tell myself that it could be worse. Um, there's other people that are going through much worse things than I am. For the next few months, Stephanie will take it one day at a time, undergoing the treatment and going to Houston Methodist for MRI scans every two weeks. The rest, she says, it's up okay. to God. I'm just grateful that they have given me this other alternative versus chemical. As for the doctors. We are now kind of at a point where, you know, a full clinical trial needs to be conducted. You guys are ready to take yeah. the next step? Yes. You know, I've been doing this for over 35 years. We've had all kinds of clinical trials. We've seen little bits of successes here and there. 
I've never seen anything this powerful. They're cautiously optimistic. They now need to raise millions of dollars in order to move on to a full clinical trial. It's incredible to see this happening right in our very own backyard here in Houston. And unlike chemo, there are no side effects. You don't get sick, you don't lose your hair. That's because the magnetic waves are only targeting the lethal cancerous cells. So this can be a huge game changer for sure. But again, the doctors are cautiously optimistic. And that's because it is still an experiment. The FDA is only letting them try for now. As I mentioned, they do need a lot of money to move forward with an FDA approved clinical trial. But of course, I will keep you updated on Stephanie and the next steps into this amazing device, the Onco Magnetic Helmet.